Today's History's Misfit is the Payan PA-22. One of the things I found interesting about this craft in researching it was that it was to participate in the 1939 Kudoich de la Mirth air race. And I thought it was interesting that we were having air races in the late 30s. Little After a little research, I found that we were having air races like six years after Kitty Hawk, so this is no big deal. But it's cool nonetheless, the, uh, the idea of old-timey races, different kind of planes being developed and whatnot. And uh, this was uh, no different. A very unique design, especially for the time, for the mid to late 30s. Um, it featured uh, delta wings with uh, another set of kind of more conventional sized wings in the front and was referred to as a tandem wing design. Apparently an earlier version of the craft was to race in the 1934 race but was damaged in practice and did not make it to race day. PA-22 was originally designed around a ramjet engine, but it ended up failing in testing, so it was redesigned around a more traditional cylinder inline engine. Sadly, this version of the craft would not get to race either, as the race was cancelled because race day was partly cloudy with a 100% chance of World War II. The design continued and by 1939 the PA-22 was in Paris for wind tunnel testing when the German occupation began and when the Germans found it they took interest in the design and finished the wind tunnel testing, put their own colors and symbols on it and wanted to begin flight testing for its potential use as probably a fighter. Flight testing would never be completed, as Pan had convinced the Germans that further modifications needed to be made to the craft, and had to return to his factory. And unfortunately, during this time, his factory was taken out as collateral damage in an air raid that was conducted on the nearby railroad. It seems this project must not have been a huge priority for the German army because after the destruction of the only prototype, there seemed to be no renewal in the project. I hope you enjoyed this History's Misfits, and please like and subscribe to see more.